Fields of Mistria is a fantastic new cozy farming game, but the rapidly draining stamina can be quite the struggle in the beginning. Today, I'm going to share eight quick tips to help you increase and maximize your stamina in Fields of Mistria. Tip number one is to check out the potions at the clinic. These medicinal syrups aren't cheap, but can instantly refill your stamina and even continue regenerating it as you work and are available to beginning players as long as you're not dirt poor. Tip number two is also for beginning players, but is completely free. Each day you can enjoy a complimentary bowl of soup at the inn and this will regenerate 20 stamina. While we're on the topic of food, you can eat the food you find and grow to gain stamina or cook food and recipes for an even greater stamina boost. This will also increase your cooking skill level so you'll reap double the benefits. Recipes can be purchased from the Inn and Saturday Market, sometimes found in the Wishing Well, or you can be gifted them for completing quests or selling new produce items in your shipping bin. Tip number four is to visit Juniper's bathhouse for a stamina replenishing dip in her questionable magic bath concoction. You get five free baths for completing her stinky stamina quest in the spring, and after that, they will cost coins. Tip number five is to drink from the magic water fountains around Mistria to regain 20 stamina each. These will be unveiled as you progress through the game and you'll find one northeast of the carpenter shop, another northwest of the dungeon, and a third on the island west of the beach area, which is accessible after you build the bridge. There may be more, but these three fountains are available within the first few seasons of gameplay. Tip six, choose your skill perks carefully. When you visit the shrines, you'll notice that quite a few of the perks directly mention stamina or indirectly affect it by making tasks take less energy to complete. Some perks can refund you the stamina for catching fish or watering crops, water the soil for you when planting a seed, break rocks in a larger area, or boost the healing properties of your recipes. So make sure to read the descriptions before spending your essence to learn a new perk. Tip seven is to use your restore magic spell once you unlock it. This will completely refill your stamina, but it will also drain your mana to cast the spell and you can't cast another spell until your mana has replenished. And finally, tip number eight is to boost your town's renown as much as possible as you'll periodically receive stamina boost potions for leveling up your town. These will permanently expand your stamina bar, and you can see the huge difference from my stamina bar at the beginning of the game, and then after a few seasons working hard to increase the town's rank. A couple bonus tips worth mentioning are even if your stamina is depleted, you'll still be able to explore, talk to villagers, and complete tasks that don't require stamina. Also, if you have bad aim like I do and accidentally target the wrong tile while working, your stamina will not deplete until you actually hit the target, such as the rock, wood, or plant. And there you have it, eight quick tips to help you boost and savor your stamina in Fields of Mystria. I'm sure there will be more ways to increase your stamina as new updates are released, but let me know below what your tips are for increasing stamina in Fields of Mystria. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out this video if you want to see my unsponsored review of Fields of Mysteria, and I thank you for watching.